What up everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be going over why I think the Shimano Scorpion DC is the best mid-priced reel on the market. So, let me start. So, for any fisherman who's either owned, used, or even thought about a uh, Shimano Corrado DC, like, like down below, but anyone who has ever fished with a Corrado DC, imagine the Corrado DC is like a Ford, and this is a Chevy. So it's better, all right? It looks better, it is better, internally and externally. Just it's the overall package, you know? But yeah, for all realness, uh, this reel is great. It is the body of a... Uh, Shimano Corrado DC changed up a little bit like on the brake side the brakes are on the bottom instead of the top it's a little different but uh, besides that it's basically the same body um, but here's reasons why I think it's the best mid-priced reel on the market so first off it is basically a Shimano Corrado DC which are great reels by themselves and when you pimp it out, it, it gets even better. But, so, like I've been saying, for anyone who's ever used a Crado DC, imagine that, but 10 times better. Uh, this reel is made out of a different material called nylon, so it's a lot smoother and stronger. And it looks really good. This gun metal looks in extremely good. It has some different components. The spool's different. If you've ever seen a spool on a Corrado DC, it's flat. This one is divot. I don't know what that does for the reel, per se, in performance, but it is different. Uh, it has internal brake settings and external brake settings. It has uh, a bit bigger handle. It might, the, uh, the Corrado DCs might be the same. I'm not sure on that one, but... Uh, it just looks a lot better too. It's gunmetal, red and black. Can't beat it. Uh, yeah, it's just a great reel overall. It has a good line capacity. It's a 150 XG, so it's got a normal sized reel. I wish it came in a 200 size, but Becker's can't be choosers, uh, which would be great because I prefer a little bit deeper spool, especially for flipping. But uh. Yeah, so it's a great reel. Other things I like about it is the fact that um, it comes in three gear ratios. So, and just like the Corrado's, this comes in a 6.5, 7 5, and 8 5 to 1 gear ratio. So it covers you for all ranges, cranking to fast flipping, or in this case, just Texas rig anything. Um, I, I kind of prefer the fish have a faster reel and have to fish slower and have to like just turbo uh really every time i'm trying to do something but yeah so it just it's come it covers you on all ranges it looks good it's a jdm reel so it gives you bragging rights it's got extra components better components than a corrado dc and it just fits so good in the hand like it is my best feeling reel for sure. It's smooth, but it doesn't get cold like a Lewis Pro TI. It doesn't get cold. It doesn't really get hot. It's just about room temperature all the time. Unless it's literally baking in the sun, but besides that, should be good. It comes with Shimano's micro module uh, gears or whatever you want to call it. And it's just a great overall reel think it comes in about 11 pounds drag which isn't insane but it isn't bad uh, and just it's super smooth like for a Shimano reel it's super smooth I will say for smoothness the Daiwa takes the cake all day every day but I mean it's great each gear ratio comes with a different gear size so since I have the A5 it comes with a 85 or 90 millimeter a long thing and I think the size below it is 75 for six five and seven five gear ratios but yeah it's just 
a great rod. You can use it for anything. I flipped with this. I've done everything with it. I cranked with it. It's just a great overall reel, and for the price of about two hundred and sixty dollars, so ten dollars more than a Corrado DC, is not bad at all for the extra brake system you get and the internal brakes you get. But speaking of those, I want to break. I want to take apart my reel and show y'all those. So, for the external braking, you have the dial down here. So, I have set my setting on one, but you have open to open the side, and then you have one, two, three, and you, or three, four, you have an extra setting called windy. So, windy is your extra setting, it is automatic brake setting. So when you're casting into wind, it'll automatically change its uh, braking power so you can get as much distance without having any issues with backlashing or anything like that. So I mean, it's extremely great. Next up, you go to open, and you open up the side. On right here, you have P, N, and F which is your internal brake system. So F is fluorocarbon, P is pylon or nylon or something like that, and N is nylon. So P is going to be braid, nylon is going to be monofilament, and F is going to be fluorocarbon. So you set that to that and it automatically gives the reel its job. So I'm throwing 15 pound Seaguar Red Label fluorocarbon on here. So of course I'm going to have it on that fluorocarbon setting because it'll give me the extra braking power and stuff I need. So there are the brake settings for the reel. So like I've been saying, for an extra ten dollars, you get internal and a, an extra external brake setting. So it makes the reel a very great reel. Uh, performs absolutely amazing. Uh, I couldn't ask for any more. I could literally have an army of a bunch of these all gear ratios, and it'd just be. I mean, you can't beat it. For basically a Corrado DC on steroids, you can't beat it. The only thing that would be better is getting like some Gomexis handles, big old power handles on these, like the x DC, which I'm going to be doing a video on soon. But, I mean, you can't beat it. Great reel for its medium price range. I mean, in the world of reels, 250 or 260 is not that bad. It, knowing that normal decent reels go from 100 to, to the Shimano on tears DCs, which are like 800. So it is a great reel. It will be hard to find. You can't just go find these in a just normal fishing store unless you're at Fun and Sun, Boats and Tackle. They sometimes carry them, but not often. So what I did is I ordered mine on Amazon, but you can find them on eBay, any reselling uh, store. I prefer Amazon. It's the safest choice. And just make sure you get it because it can be confusing. Uh, make sure if you're right-handed, make sure you get either 150 or 200 if they make it 200 now. I'm not sure. And then uh, whatever gear ratio you want, XG is uh, A5, high G, or HG is high gear, which is 7.5. And I think standard is just 6.5. But yeah, so this is all for today's video. I just want to go over why I think I think this is the best reel. So y'all keyboard warriors, don't go down there and be like, well, blah, 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 blah. This is what I think the best mid-priced reel is for the market. Well, technically Japan's market. But overall fishing, this is why I think this reel is the best. I hope y'all have a blessed day, and I'll see you on another one.